good morning, guys. I'm Daddy. Just went to go get um the, the baby chicks. And come, come up. What's a car? Do you want to go get the baby chicks? Okay. <laughs> Last one. Hey everybody, um, welcome back to another episode on Pumpkin Hill Farm. Of course, he's always uh, going at it. When very I start vocal. Talking. But uh, we wanted to take you through the journey of building a hoop coop. Um, we're doing this uh, to be able to put a second batch of broiler, broiler chickens. Uh, we want to be able to do two batches at a time, so one will be in the brooder that you saw before, and this will be set up for the um, secondary batch. We're going to uh, put it on the side of our laying hens coop, so it blocks it from the wind and rain a little bit as well. And we'll be able to open up on both ends so we can let them out in a fenced in area to graze. And we'll rotate them. We're going to essentially uh, mark out a, a little piece of land right here to plant some cover crop. We'll be doing the same on this side. I know you guys can't see it right now, but we'll bring you around so you can see after. Um, and then we'll kind of rotate them so there's, you know, a mix of, of use of the land. So the first step of doing a hoop coop is putting together your uh, bottom frame. Um, we've chose to do 8 by 12 um, for being able to support about a batch of 100 uh, meat chickens. So first off, we're going to screw it together. Hi, Dada. Hi, Jade. Is that toys? <laughs> is that my toys? That is toys? Predictions. Whoever guesses the right amount of eggs gets a piece of candy. I bet there's three eggs in here. No, the whole coop. Oh, like this and that? Yep. I bet there's at least four eggs in there and then at least two or three eggs in here. So how many is that total? Um, you got to have a saw five. 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 Five altogether. All right. What's your guess? Maybe ten or nine. Okay, so nine and five. I'm gonna guess seven. Okay. Just so we don't have two doors open. Yes, I was right. We How many? The eggs here. Actually, we can let the ladies out. Yeah. So yep. So, so oh, geez. Now we just don't have too much fun. We just right? Hopefully, there's two, at least two in here. Let's see. Okay. Whoa. All right. Let's check so it out. So there's three in here and four in oh, here. Oh wow. Okay. So seven, eight, nine, nine ten. ten. So you were the closest. Yay. Oh, Jay did not help. Okay. Eggs. Next, we're going to be bringing in some cattle panels, and that's going to be our structure of the coop. We have to bend them, bow them out. Yep. This way, though. Ah! Okay. Lower. Yep. But you want 
then the new batch of birds we get, we will, uh, After stapling, guys, I'm just going to put some zip ties around the uh, joining pan, the joining panels, just to help hold it together all the way over. Guys, now that we've gotten our cattle panels secured, I went ahead and marked 32 inches on a line on our uh, base frame here on each side so we have about a 32 inch room for a door that we're going to build but we're just going to put our 2x4 on the line make sure it's level and then we're going to trace along the cattle panel and that's where we're going to make our cut All right guys, so we are back inside, all cleaned up and decent for dinner. Uh, tonight I'm gonna be using one of the trout uh, that we have harvested over this past uh, ice fishing season. Kevin took the kids out a lot this year and we're super grateful to have a decent stock of these in our freezer. Um, I'm gonna be making sort of a scampi with it um, and I'll get all the ingredients together and we'll start cooking. Assistant is helping uh, me tell the ingredients. So she is actually holding some of our uh, stock. That was from our last chicken harvest. Uh, we have some fresh basil from downstairs, some cheeses, I believe that's sharp cheddar parmesan. We have some seasonings, onion, uh, some cream for the sauce, little arugula, pasta, and of course the trout fillets. So I have got my sauce started in a cast iron skillet. I started it with three tablespoons of butter, uh, about two tablespoons of minced garlic. I'm finishing up cutting the onion right now. I'm going to be putting some minced onion in there as well. I haven't put the fish in the oven yet, but I do have the water boiling for my pasta as well as some water with a steamer for the broccoli. You're gonna wanna cook it until it's like fragrant. If only you could smell through YouTube. All right, so we're gonna let that cook a little bit more. I am gonna get the broccoli in and the trout I'm probably gonna put in the oven now. All right, so I have the fillets going in the oven. On the top, I did use onion powder, garlic powder, dill, and a lemon black pepper mix. Um, I'm gonna put it in the oven, like I said, at 250. I'm gonna check it in about 15 minutes. Water is boiling for the pasta, so you wanna cook that al dente. We'll be adding it to the sauce, so it'll cook a little bit more when it's in there. Alright, so the sauce, it looks like the onions and the garlic are cooked in the butter. I'm going to add our chicken stock. 
So the funny thing about my cooking and actually recording it is I don't usually measure things. Um, I'm gonna do my best. <laughs> I think that I'm using about two cups, maybe a little less, one and a half. So we'll see where that gets us. So you're gonna keep this just on uh, medium heat. I have an induction stove, so it's about uh, three and a half to four for me. I am going to add in some mushy powder. My kids and my partner do not like mushrooms. I love them, but um, I put I sneak them in when I can, um, and I put it in a lot of things that I make, and they don't even know. So, all right. So now I'm going to be shredding some sharp cheddar in the sauce mixture. Not the best with measuring. I'd probably put about a fourth of a cup in, I'd say. I'm gonna do the same thing with Parmesan. Kind of stir in the cheese. That alone will help thicken your sauce, but I do add a little bit of heavy cream too. So I'm gonna do that now. I would say probably about a fourth of a cup to a half a cup. Right now I'm going to take the basil. I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit, starting to get too thick. There's nothing like the scent of fresh basil. Maybe that's the Italian in me, <laughs> but it smells so good. All right, so my sauce is nice and creamy. I am going to add the pasta. All right. Looking good, looking good. Next, I'm going to grab some arugula. Kind of mix that in. However is easiest for you. So let's just take a minute to look at this beautiful fish. <laughs> so good. Probably one of the best things you can eat is fish. We should all eat more fish. This is my, this is my favorite part about dinner. Quick update guys, we didn't use metal strapping, I just used the staples that I had. And that's how we secured the cattle panel to the frame for the doors. Over here. They're going to try to come back around. Chickens. 
Oh, they're mating! All right, guys, we got our um, fencing around our door frames here all done. Now what we're gonna do is just put on the tarp um, over the lengthwise, and then we're gonna build our doors. Yay! Looks great. All right guys, we have the doors put in, tarp on, and also the hay has been put down for bedding. It's great in here. Two doors for each side. I'll be able to put a hole here in the string so you can pull and open from both sides. But for now, Looks great. Like button, destroy the like button. <laughs>